Do you remember how last week I said it's going to be a game changer for us? This right here. Any guesses what that is? And then I said this later in the video, I'll tell you what that is because that is going to finish everything for us. I never really explained what that game changer was, but in this video, we're gonna get really deep into it. Wrap on it. Things have gotten real janky real fast. We think we have two options. Is that supposed to happen? You gotta measure in the retention, right? That's right. Okay, let's do it. Let's change our story, let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own. In last week's video, Corey and I put together our solar control board with charge controllers for our solar panels. I pointed to a mysterious blue package here in the parking lot, and I told you I was going to tell you what that was, <laughs> and we didn't. It is here. Let's go check it out. We're going up here right now. We're going to cut this open. We're going to get our first look at it, and we're going to try to carry it down to the dock. The marina was very nice to allow us to set these in the parking lot, so we don't have another place to put them. But I'm afraid that their generosity is going to wear thin if we don't get these taken care of. They've not said that. They've been great. But I don't want to push the limits. So let's see if we can get these. At least on our boat out of their way. Yeah. Oh, they've got like some kind of wrap on it, like some protection. We bought this, and we are not sponsored, and we paid full price for this thing. We bought this from Atlantic Towers. This is their super sale arch. I don't remember what it holds, so we'll stick that on the screen. It's way more than we're gonna put on it between our solar panels and our dinghy so we can get our dinghy up higher out of the water. We're gonna take the old davits off. It's gonna be great, I think. Whoa, that's big. That's bigger than I thought. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, solar arches are so expensive, guys. This was not cheap, but it's better price than having somebody make you one. It's absolutely gigantic. <laughs> oh I mean, my it looks goodness. Nice. What have we done? Well, you have to call them to order. Corey did that. He said they were super nice, very helpful. This arch has been installed on a sister ship from our boat, and they were able to pull the specs and tell us exactly what was installed and send us pictures of that install. So we're gonna do the same to help out others. Once we get this installed, we will take pictures of how we've installed it on our boat. So I just wanna show everybody for comparison. <laughs> And it's very lightweight, actually. It's aluminum. This this isn't bad. It's gotten late and we have spent the last probably hour and a half, two hours trying to plan the attack tomorrow. We've got the whole arch system out here just in front of our boat. I think we have a plan on what we're gonna do. It's late, I'm gonna go to bed, get some rest and uh, tomorrow, bright and early, we're gonna get started. So we got everything laid out. We think. We ran to Home Depot because they didn't include bolts to bolt it to the boat. That's kind of a problem, but it makes sense because, you know, different boats will have different hull thicknesses and whatnot. So it's the same problem when we did our port lights. So we ran to Home Depot and we bought these low grade stainless bolts. And basically my thought is they'll get us in, they'll buy us a little bit of time, and then I need to buy some high grade stainless um, and I'll replace them at a different time. We didn't know. And also until we unpacked it, we actually didn't know what size bolts we would even need and we're just ready to get started. It was supposed to be cooler and less humid today. That does not seem to be working out no. for us. It is quite warm and quite... Humid. Humid. <laughs> Watch us mess this up. We think we have two options. These are the two areas we're aiming for. We'd like to put it here, but then this, the back foot will hit about here, which is the widest part of this area, the scoop, and we actually have good access to this through the engine 
compartment. This thing's gonna have to come up and down a few times while we try to figure out where the feet go. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape here and then we're gonna measure between this spot and the approximate spot on the other side and then get a measurement and we're gonna go ahead and set our distance between our forward feet. We got this position pretty close. I don't know if you can see it. So we have it laid on the dock pretty close to the measurement that we think we're gonna need. These pipes here need to slide into these pipes here. So we're gonna use some lube like WD-40. Wanted to make sure that there's no obstruction. So I managed to get these, these three pipes put together, slid into each other, and that was kind of a trick all of its own. But you can see I've got a few inches I need to get this and I've hit like a roadblock. Found my mallet, try to use the mallet um, to, to encourage this. Four. We're just about ready to lift this arch. We've got Ella up here. She's on the winch. And back here, Becky and Carter. I'm gonna set you guys down on a tripod because we're gonna need all hands. That line right there is hooked up all the way up to the top of the mast. See, Becky's holding this blue line. We're gonna hopefully use that to pull the arch out and away and then uh, manhandle it up and around. Say, hey Ella, we need to lower it down. You gotta take this off and it won't slide. We say, okay, drop it a little bit. You're gonna do this, and that makes the line go through this, okay? Because we have no clue what we're doing. Ella, go ahead and start cranking. Oh man, that's heavy. We will be in a second. So I've got to push it your way, buddy, and if you could pull it your way. It's making a weird noise. Is that supposed to happen? All right, so we tried our best to get some measurements and I've marked this off six inches. Pretty sure that that's gonna be close. I don't know, <laughs> but we're about to cut it off. So hopefully that turns out to be right. We're doing a probably modified installation, not exactly doing the instructions as said because we don't have the dock space. We don't have, we just don't have a great setup here for doing this. The instructions say to bring it up, dry fit it, take it back down, make your cuts, bring it back up, dry fit it, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, right? No. We're lucky in that we did really good measurements ahead of time and it's really close. We can tell that it's really close. So I'm gonna cut it here. Guys, things have gotten real janky real fast. But here's 
here's where we are. So I, we ran to Home Depot and we got a couple of two by fours and we've cut them to kind of act as like a stopper, like a door stop, a wedge, a cleat, something like that. Had no way to affix them to the deck, so we have gone straight to duct tape. I know some of you are gonna be really proud to see that duct tape. We are just about to uh, release this topping lift here. Hopefully it's gonna drop down and, and fall into level and then we really wanna see these feet touch the back of the scoop here. But this is gonna give us the final information of, of what we need and whether or not we need to cut off any more from these forward feet. Okay, hold. Hold, looks like I might have a duct tape failure. Well, a couple of things. So the other side, we realized that I didn't cut my this pipe here. I didn't cut this pipe as straight as I could have. And so um, there was a gap and it was touching on one side and a gap on the other. So we sanded it down. And then we didn't even notice if this side was the same way. So I'm taking the tape off here. And it is. And there is There's a gap. There's a pretty good gap on so, this side, actually. So we'll sand this down and we level it. We didn't notice. We'll level it out. Yeah, I can see all my roughness. Alrighty. By the way, if you want to help support our channel and get us out there on the water, consider Patreon. This is a great way to get some bonus content and connect with us. We've started putting some extra bonus content up there, some behind the scenes and some other fun things. Check it out. And if Patreon isn't your scene, that's okay. Give us a like on this video and subscribe. It really, really helps us out. We're pretty happy with the way that the arch is laying up. It's a little bit taller than the bimini. It's really hard to see in this video because I, as I'm looking at the screen, they look like they're pretty even, but the arch over here is actually um, several inches taller, maybe even six to eight inches taller than the bimini top over here. And that's really good. We're really happy with that. And it's gonna go up another three or four inches when we put the feet on it. Um, I think that that's gonna work out really well for us. So the solar panels are gonna go on top of the arch and they're actually going to come this way. They'll be supported in everything. And then um, we're going to put a sunshade to connect between here and the solar panels about here. So this whole back area is gonna be shaded. It's gonna be really nice. Okay, I've got my bolts in here and got butyl around each one and this is going to nest in like this. Okay, we're gonna give this a go here. There we go. So the big reason why we've been working to install this arch is so that we can get off grid and that's what we've been doing all along. With the solar on here and on the bimini top over here, we're going to be fully equipped to be off grid with minimal power concerns. We have 1400 amp hours of lithium power. We were able to do that because our lithium batteries are DIY. We saved approximately 10 grand doing it ourselves and you could totally do it too. I've got all the information you need in this video right here. See ya.